Communication Journey of Beja for TouchChat. This brief tutorial will cover editing the grid size to meet the needs of a client using this file. The default Communication Journey of Beja layout will begin with a 12 location grid. Based on the client's capability, the grid size may need to be changed and then built upon as the client progresses. The client information form for individuals with aphasia is available on the TouchChat app website. This document may help you collect valuable information about the client including caregivers, background information, present levels of communication, communication partners, and a lifestyles inventory. Kaya developed a resource that is available online as well. You can type in the link at the bottom of the screen or simply search the web for Kaya AAC resources for individuals with aphasia. Or you can find the link on the TouchChat app website. By using the client information in the Kaya AAC resource, I might have determined that my client may benefit from a more limited grid size at this time. For example, we will create a six location grid size. On this six location grid, we will keep these buttons. Things, People, Me, Clear, Conversational Control, and Scales. Let's take a look at how we would customize a grid on the device. Using the TouchChat app and the Communication Journey Aphasia vocabulary for the customization, I will create the location grid I need. I have already made a copy of the default file. My plan is to take this 12 location grid to a 6 location grid based on my client's current needs. First, we need to get into edit mode. We'll tap Menu, Edit Page. We are going to be decreasing the grid size so we will lose buttons through the process. We need to rearrange the grid to keep the desired items. I will move the desired buttons to fill two rows and three columns starting from left to right. So my goal was to keep things, people, me, conversational control, scales, and clear. I have rearranged the grid to achieve that. Next we will change the page layout to achieve the six locations. We're going to tap Menu, Edit Page Layout, and now we would like to have two rows and three columns. I'll tap Save. I will get a warning that I'm going to lose some of the buttons. I'm okay with that. I can select continue. And I now have my six location file. I'll tap done. I have my six grid layout with my desired buttons. When I tap one of the buttons, I will find that the next page will contain 12 buttons. I will need to make a determination if I need to limit the grid size on all pages or just some of them or just the home page. If we had determined that another page was more beneficial at this time to be on the main screen and it was embedded in another page, we could copy and paste that button to the main screen. For this example, we decide that our client needs to be able to tell us about pain, so we will bring the pain scale to the main page. First we go to the page we want to move the button from, tap Menu, Edit Page, and now we'll copy the button. I'm going to tap out of edit mode, go back to the home page, and we'll place that button on top of the scales button. Now I will repeat the process to change to a six location grid. I'll move me, Move my pain, my clear, tap menu, edit page layout, and again I would like two rows, three columns, tap save, I get my warning message, tap continue, and I now have my six location grid with pain on the front page. As the client's needs changed, we are able to change the grid size and bring back other pages. Thank you for joining us. Keep up with TouchChat News by signing up for our newsletter, and we hope you'll follow us on social media.